yeah I got the this fuel gauge taken out it looks like the the green wire broke off I'll have to re-solder that uh, this early one yeah I never never really looked at this but it has aha that's where the other IC is they have a little IC on the back side that must actually be so this fuel gauge was added on to you have the basic battery management system board and then they had to add the functionality of the fuel gauge on a separate board so that's why there's no there's only I guess probably the main power and ground connection to the board through the connector and then all of the wiring for these LEDs is all separate so yeah I never actually pulled this one apart to look at it let's see if it actually lights up here I didn't even try that if I press the button there we go green and like I said the green wire is broken so there's no light there's the little LED that should light up and it looks like the green wire turns on the green LED so I'll get that uh, wire fixed and then figure out how to get I guess that thing just sits oh, okay so it it just sits in here there's a little rubber uh, cushion that I guess holds it in place so I must have knocked it loose and then you've got the little push button uh, switch is that little red plunger there so yeah I hadn't intended to really look at the fuel gauge but that's that kind of backs up my suspicion that this fuel gauge was sort of added on so the first um, and I, I've got a, a battery pack that's older than this sorry I've got one that has just the two wires and just the push button here in the light but there's no light up here so this seems to be the second generation fuel gauge and then I've got a pack that has just this connector and this circuit board but none of the these extra wires here so this is probably the second generation that they added the lights up here and I'll show you that once I get that wire fixed so be back in a second and there we go I got that wire replaced and now we get the I press the button you get the light down here and the light up in the post so yeah I guess the green wires for the green LED the uh, red wire for the red imagine the yellow is for the yellow LED and they actually do use three uh, different LEDs I thought they might combine the red and the green to get yellow but they actually use a red green and yellow LED separate but it looks like we've got a pack I'll try to get all the screws and everything back in and then we can plug it into a power tool and see if it works yeah so it just took a little you just have to get everything lined up to get that uh, that little red plunger I showed you has to line up with the little push button and this is all like I say just held in by you know a, a tight tolerance uh, you know there's no actual slots or anything holding it in place it just fits in there and then it jams up against this circuit board so when you plug when you push the main battery pack in you've got to make sure that this board gets pushed into the right spot so that it aligns so if you're taking one of these old packs apart with this uh, early generation fuel gauge make sure to check that it works before you put it all back together because <laughs> it's a uh, it's a picky little installation like that so that seems to be one of the items they've improved so I'll see if I can get this all assembled and then see if it still works and there we go we got everything the case fits back on the top and the
fuel gauge still works, lights up the sides and the bottom, so I'll get the screws put in and uh, we'll go plug it into a uh, power tool, see if it works. Okay, I got my little uh, this is a C3 vacuum cleaner, plug that battery in and let's see if it works. It looks like it does. And the uh, fuel gauge still works. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, repair video, how to repair, this one had two bad cells. Uh, it showed you how to take that, how to troubleshoot it to determine the cells were bad, how to take the cells out, how to put the new ones in. So I think uh, this pack I paid, I think with shipping it was about 12 maybe 12 13 dollars for the pack and then it was 13 or 14 dollars I think it was around 14 for the two cells so it's about 27 dollars for a, a working lithium battery pack which is about half the uh, price of a new one took a little bit of time but if you like that uh, video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to check out some of my other videos and subscribe to the channel to get updates. Thanks for watching and I'll, I'll update you when I get a recharge on this. See what kind of capacity we have. Thanks for watching.